Today I go to space. Camp. The future of space exploration won't look like it's past. Any Mars mission will probably be the result of NASA and a private space company, and will require collaboration with many other nations. In making America great again, big ass asterisk, what will that look like? The grizzled Ed Harris fate of the past? Well, not according to NASA. Hi, Alyssa, nice Alyssa, to meet you. Alyssa, nice to meet you. Is this the future of space travel? Meet 18-year-old Alyssa Carson. If America's going to regain its pole position in the space race, we're going to need to start training yesterday. So it takes some folks a lifetime and a few false starts to figure out their true calling. But there are others who find it starting at a young age simply by looking skyward. There's billionaires, governmental space agencies, and then there's people like Alyssa. Self-funded, almost DIY, and on a literal mission. You want to go to Mars? Pretty much, yeah. Mars is the ultimate goal. She'll do whatever it takes to get herself on NASA's radar or anyone else's. I definitely want to like, keep my options open because I was like, whoever's going to Mars, I'll go to Mars with you. I think that the next generation, we're just like that generation who's going to be able to see someone walk on Mars. So you're part of the Mars generation. Am I part of the Mars generation? I mean, I think you'll be around for, you know, at least another 10, 12 years or... How old do you think I am? <laughs> Perhaps this is the America of the future, where one generation can walk beside the next and not be intimidated to have far fewer patches on their flight suit. You've already thought all this through. Yeah, I got it, got it all laid out when I'm going to do what. So gain my scuba certification. I'm also working on my pilot's license to get some flight experience, microgravity training, spacesuit training, water survival, um, decompression, G-force, uh, geology training in Iceland. I can speak four languages, English, French, Spanish, and Chinese. I have my applied astronautics degree, so that was basically a certification for suborbital spaceflight. You're certified for suborbital spaceflight. Correct. I didn't even know you needed a pass to go to Italy. Wow. It's kind of important. Whatever. She's still far too young to pound beers with an astronaut. Hoppy enough for it's you? It's hoppy. I like it. Yeah. The centrifuge simulates the environment that a fighter pilot or an astronaut may experience during flight. And it can reach up to 3.2 Gs. That's three times your body weight. So it's like if I had three clones bullying me and sitting on top of me at once. Basically. While I've wanted to be an astronaut since I was a kid, too, I never really thought about how you become an astronaut. Easy. <laughs> it's a little claustrophobic in here. We're going to bring the ramp down now. Jesus. <laughs> I just like this already. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. Thank you. Well, see, it feels like you're, like, taking off. Yeah. We're picking up some speed now. We're headed towards three Gs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. uh, <laughs> uh, I tried to play it cool. It was not the best interview I've ever done. What are some of the personal issues you'll have to deal with with extended space flight? I felt like I was choking down vomit most of the time during that interview, which is a unique sensation. I mean, I've had that a few times talking to folks from the NRA, but, but that was for totally different reasons. I thought the future generation was just juuling, Xboxing, and BTSing. Keep it going. Well, we couldn't be where we are today without the older generation's risks, so I just need to channel that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oh. oh no, not that. Oh. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, I can't stop, yeah. Alyssa has the spinny stuff down cold, but I know I can help her with some space-centric inspiration that she's sure to appreciate. Do you get the reference? Like, Spaceman? Is that a thing? I'd say more Starman. If you're gonna see if there's life on Mars, I think this is the way to do it. So this spacewalk, you're going to be repairing an ammonia tank that's on board the ISS. Oh, I'm flying. OK, stay. And you know what? If all of that was wrong and we didn't get any value out of going to Mars, if the only thing we got was that kids in this country and also around the world think to themselves, you know what? I need to pay attention to math and science because I want to work for NASA someday. And they might not. Then they're going to go on and do great things as a scientist or an engineer. 
And these are the most important career fields for our country. So it's like the world's most lovely con job. I wouldn't say con job. I mean, I'm, I'm saying a lovely con job. It's closed. I will say in all honesty, I think if there's going to be a face of the future on another planet, I'd like it to be your face. That means a lot. It sounded weird because I was so face focused on that. Yeah. Send for me when you guys have like your first Whole Foods set up. I'll let you know when it happens. You go ahead because okay. I feel a little exposed in the back.